Today we are going to demonstrate the triaxial test for an undisturbed soil sample in accordance with ASTMD 2850. This video will cover the process of triaxial test of soils under unconsolidated and undrained conditions. First, we need to take an undisturbed soil sample. The sample should be shaped so that the height to diameter ratio will be in between 2 to 2.5. Some cut samples should be taken to measure the initial moisture content. Put a latex membrane in a membrane stretcher. The soil sample needs to be placed inside the latex membrane. Apply suction in the membrane stretcher so that the rubber membrane will be attached to the surrounding. Put filter paper and pour stone both above and below the soil sample. Place the sample on the triaxial base. Put the latex membrane around the porous disc. Remove the membrane stretcher. Put rubber o-ring at the bottom of the base to grip the ends of the membrane on the pedestal. Place the upper part mold on top of the sample. Put another o-ring around it. Remove the o-ring placing tool. Assemble the upper part of the cell on the base. Tighten all the screws. In the triaxial flex panel, check the water level in the burette. Turn on the external and burette valves. Fill up the water in all the tubes. Place the cell in the triaxial loading device. Bring the axial load position into contact with the specimen cap to permit proper seating and alignment of the piston with the cap. Open the necessary valves to allow the passage of water into the chamber. Fill the triaxial cell with water, keeping the air vent at the top of the cell open during this operation. From the flex panel, adjust the cell pressure and back pressure of the sample for the saturation purpose. The data will be automatically recorded from the sensors. Draw the stress versus strain graph accordingly. From the test, deviator stress for the corresponding cell pressure can be obtained. For three different cell pressures, there will be different deviator stress. At the end, more circle can be drawn based on the available data and the shear strength parameters C and V can be determined from the more circle. Thus, the shear strength of a given soil sample can be determined by triaxial test.